Hey guys, it's Sonia here. How are you today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Motivational Monday. And I wanted to check in with you, see how your weekend went. And most importantly, because it's Motivational Monday, I wanted to have a conversation with you regarding motivation and food. Where are you at with that? So what I mean by that is, do you use food to motivate you? So the choices that you make for the meals that you eat, do you use food to motivate you? As we move forward, I am going to focus Motivational Mondays to be about food and nutrition and what we put into our body. Um, so Motivational Mondays and meals are going to go hand in hand. You all know that I work in the areas of meals, movement, mindset, and your relationship with money. So today we're talking about meals and motivation. And, and it's interesting because sometimes there's an illusion that it takes a lot more time, effort, cost to choose healthier options when that's not the case. That's not at all the case. Hey friends, welcome, welcome. We are honing in today on Motivational Monday regarding motivation and food. Do you use food to motivate you? Do you make the right choices? Do you think differently about the choices that you make? So a great example of that is this morning, I made um, oat cakes. And it's kind of like pancakes. They present like a pancake. They're yummy like a pancake. Um, but they're called oat cakes. Well, that's what I call them anyways. And they're made with oatmeal and banana. And I put maca root in there. And I put um, cinnamon in there. Uh, cacao nibs versus chocolate chips is what I used. And two eggs. Um amazing. It was amazing. It made three beautiful size oat cakes, like pancakes. And I had it with some pure maple syrup. And when I cooked it, I cooked it with a butter flavor. So it's not butter, but it's a, bu a butter flavored coconut oil. So I'm getting like the, the, um, MCT type oil into my system, which is the health type type of fat. I'm not going to get into that now. I got carbohydrates into my system through the oats and the banana. I got nutrients in my system through the maca root and the cinnamon, um, which is an anti-inflammatory, and um, protein from the eggs. So as much as this was a conscious decision, actually, no, let me rephrase that. As much as I know this is not the absolute best cho choice for me, a smoothie would be the best choice for me. Um, every day. I know that. However, this is the best choice for me when it comes to a sweet morning treat. So this is how I look at meals differently. I would love to hear how you look at meals, how meals motivate you, where you're at right now. If you're looking to lose weight, gain weight, fill me in on all of those details. Um, I did a post before this on, you know, what's your motivation to lose weight? What's your motivation to eat healthy? Um, my motivation to eat healthy is to continue to feel as young as I feel. Most days, most days I don't feel my age. I don't feel half my age most days. And I know I'm still in, the healing, in my healing journey. So could you imagine um, what that would be like if I didn't have to take time for prioritizing my health and my self-care? But imagine, flip that script. Imagine that these are with the results because I have taken the time to prioritize my wellness and my self-care. And if feeling like I'm in my early 20s is the amount of energy I'm getting by taking care of myself because I'm doing those things, I'm going to keep doing them. I'm going to keep doing them. So how about you? How, how do your meals, your choice of foods motivate you? on your journey to health and fitness, on your journey to health and wellness, in your day-to-day -day life, are you looking to just move your body, dance in a competition, run a wear a swimsuit? I'd love to hear what your story is, my friends. Thank you for following me today and every day. It's Sonia here with Fresh Approach Wellness. We talk about meals, movement, mindset, and your relationship with money as I help you keep your promises to yourself. Thanks for watching.